Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to this week's Council Update. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge City staff and our Veterans Committee members who put together a beautiful virtual Remembrance Day ceremony. Thank you for adapting to the times while still honouring and thanking our past and present military members. Also, thank you goes out to the Canadian Warplane Heri Heritage Museum for having the iconic Lancaster fly over our city cenotaph. At our November 11th meeting, Council continued our 2021 budget discussion and approved a motion to have boards and agencies budgets of at a limit of 2%. This includes Royal Botanical Gardens and the Hamilton Police Board, as well as the Conservation Authorities. Discussions will be ongoing until March 2021, when we expect to have the budget approved by Council. Council also voted unanimously to continue lobbying the provincial and federal governments for ongoing COVID-related relief to municipalities. This past summer, the province and federal government joined together to allocate nearly $45 million to offset COVID-19 costs in Hamilton. This funding is essential as we continue to deliver public services, including transit, public health, child care, housing and social services. Hamilton will continue to urge both governments to continue supporting municipalities who are the front line of any safe restart to the economy. And Council approved a motion to have the province deny approval to have a legal retail cannabis location in Ancaster. This location is within close proximity to schools. Our bylaw teams have reviewed over 70 retail cannabis location applications and despite sharing their concerns with the province, all have been approved. Our staff need the ability to deny an application if the proposed location is in an area not deemed to be acceptable. Council also approved a motion to request staff to examine expanding digital connectivity across the city. With more households working, completing school and interacting online during the pandemic, we need reliable and accessible internet more than ever. So the federal government recently announced its 1.75 billion universal broadband fund aiming to connect 98% of Canadians to high speed by 2026. Good, reliable internet shouldn't be a luxury, and I look forward to hearing back from our staff on next steps. And lastly, Council decided to look at developing a protocol where the names of businesses charged with breaking COVID-19 rules will be made public. Right now, we have only named businesses with public health concerns, as opposed to those that have been fined. And since the pandemic started, the city has laid 172 charges, with 15 of those charged have been businesses. So staff will now look at sharing names by request from the public or from the media or through an online portal that will be updated regularly. Thank you for tuning into this week's council update. Our next virtual council meeting will take place on November the 25th. Stay healthy. Keep uh, following the public health recommendations of staying within your own household, physical distancing, wearing your mask, washing your hands as much as humanly possible. It is critical at this point in time, so please do your best to fulfill those recommendations. Thank you and we'll see you next time.